Hello gamers, gamettes, boys, girls, it is your main man, the god of masculinity, the paper, Goomba, I know, sickest, most non-cringe name of all time. Today we got another uh, sweaty video here. Um, I've had this Microsoft uh, Service Duo for about six months now, and I thought it'd be cool just to uh, do a little look at it, a little six month look back at it. Um, it's, it's been a really good device. There's has been some hitches, you know what I mean, bugs, but you can expect that with any kind of semi-prototype product such as this. Um, I got this device because I thought it was really cool. Um, I always used to want a phone with two screens. I really like folding phones. But I don't like the, uh, problems it comes with, like the plastic screens and how weak they are and that kind of thing. So I thought this was perfect for me. I have a controller plugged into it right now. Because I'm going to do a little test of that. But in terms of condition, I I got this. I didn't like the white bumper it came with because it attracted. You could like see all the dust that it attracted. And it drove me crazy. So I bought this red bumper had almost ever since I got it. And the device itself is in very good condition. I've taken very, very good care of it. You can see if my stupid camera will focus. I mean, can camera, come on, buddy. I know. We th I thought we worked this out, camera. Anyways. But it's in really good condition. My USB-C port hasn't cracked yet. And, um, yeah. It's in really good condition. I also had these screen protectors put on it since day one as well. You can't really see them, but they're screen protectors. Well, glass on the front and the back that are protectors and inside the phone as well. Um, and yeah, overall, it's in really good condition. I am going to need to get a new bumper soon because this one is starting to wear out. Um, and so yeah, I'm gonna get a new bumper soon. They're like 40 bucks, so it's kind of ridiculous. There's really no good case options for this phone, though. That's one of my big problems with it, is that I, like, the only case options you got are this bumper and this stupid thing from OtterBox. I tried the OtterBox theorem, whatever you want to call it, thing. It sucked. I hated it. Uh, so, this is what I'm rolling with. Anyways, um, let's take a look at the phone. The screen protectors are a little bit scratched, but, like, barely, though. But the screens themselves are in perfect condition. I have the dopest wallpaper of, okay, camera, well, what are we doing, man? Okay, we're, we good, camera? We good? We good? Okay, we're, we're good, camera, okay. Uh, I have the dopest wallpaper of all time. When you see this Paper Mario wallpaper, it, it invokes masculinity, you know what I mean? You can feel the manliness in this wallpaper, <laughs> totally. But anyways, I really like the original Paper Mario, oh my god. And so I got this little wallpaper based off it. Um, so yeah, anyways, let's get into the device. Now, I do not mind the default launcher whatsoever. It's, it's, it's I eat. Um, I have a 128 gig model because I really don't put that much on my phones. Um, but yeah, I don't have a ton of applications because I try to keep my phones a little light because I do most of my gaming on my handhelds. But I do have some stuff. Like, I play a lot of Clash Royale, so I have that. I have Disney, eBay, I have Game Pass. That works really well on here. Game Pass Beta, though, is a little bit better on the Duo. Here, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Okay, come on, camera. Work with me, dude. Work with me. Camera, I will fire you. Okay. Anyways. And, yeah, I Mirror Game War. My, I don't even know how to say it. It's a really fun Chinese kind of strategy game. Super Mario Run, underrated. Uh, yeah, Solitaire came on it. I have three Sonic games, Spotify, uh, Sevens. If I have that four, you'll see in a second. But yeah, overall, I don't have a ton on it. I keep it kind of light. I have the 128 gig model because I didn't, I don't need all the storage of the 256. And the RAM is about, the, if it had eight gigs of RAM, the 256, I would have paid the extra hundred bucks. But no, it doesn't. If it had an extra two gigs of RAM, I mean, anyways. So, I thought it'd be really fun to look at um, the GameCube and Wii performance on here. This thing is uh, powered by Snapdragon 855, which I'm kind of disappointed in with the 855. Um, that's the same processor as the Galaxy S10. Uh, the 855 came out in 2019, I think quarter 2 of 2019. And even when the phone came out, it was a generation old, the processor. The 865 was there, plus the, and the 865 plus, and... So if you're counting the 855 plus, then technically it was two generations behind, even when it came out. And right now, as we stand, because there's the 855 plus, the 865, the 865 plus, then I don't even know, isn't it like 905 or something now? 
And so right as it's sitting right now, this phone isn't even a year old and the chipset is three generations behind. Plus it only has six gigs of RAM, which three years ago I would have been like, oh my gosh, six gigs of RAM, dude? That's more RAM than I have friends. And but these days it's like it's okay. Like six gigs will get the task done, but it's okay. And so a lot of reviews of this phone that I've seen, um, they'll go into I'll go into Dolphin Emulator here. They'll go into Dolphin Emulator, the full, you can fold the screen like a regular phone, you know what I mean? I'm not going to do it right now because I have it like in the perfect position to do this. But, and they always play these games like that. But it's like, dude, that's just like a regular phone. So I'm going to try and take advantage of the two screens here. It's actually pretty cool. Um, so I've got a bunch of Gaby games here. Wii games do work, but they're a little iffy. Like New Super Mario Bros. Wii, the controls up here really weird. Super Smash Bros. Brawl works really well. But for the most part, these games run at very close to full speed. And so, let's see, which we play, which we play. Uh, we'll play Mario Power Tennis. And, okay, this is going to look a little weird, but trust me, it's kind of cool. Uh, I need to disable the overlaid controls. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay, overlaid controls. Uh, toggle controls. Okay, wait a second. Hold up. Sorry. Okay, toggle. I have not done this in a while. There we go. Okay. Now, I just have a Google Stadia controller plugged in here. Um, it's honestly, it's really good for us, but it's not wireless. And with, I don't like the uh, the delay a lot of these wireless controllers have. So as you can see, both screens have kind of formed to make this big screen. You know what I mean? And sure, you got the slice down the middle, but here, we'll play. We'll get into a match. And again, I do most of my gaming on um, my handhelds. But I have played quite a few emulators on here. Not this game, but a lot in particular. Here, let's go against... Who should we go against? Um, actually, no. We're going to be uh, my boy... Okay, what am I doing? B, B, wait. Okay, there we go. Sorry. Okay, I'm going to be my boy Waluigi, and I'm going to have him fulfill his fantasy of uh, beating Luigi. Unless I lose. And that is definite possibility here. Uh, I'm pretty confident in this game, though. Okay, we're going to just do random one. Okay, I'm not doing that court action. I really hate that one. Okay, I'm not doing that one either. Okay, here we go. I'll do this one. Okay, one set. And as you can see, right up here, it's running the game. I'll zoom into it a little bit. Eh. It's running the game at full speed, 60 FPS right now. Just about the same speed that the actual GameCube or Wii would run it on. And so it runs really, oh, camera, easy there, tripod, sorry about that, that the uh, actual uh, console would run would run the game at, speed-wise. There are some, like, what, what did I do? B? Okay, here we go. And as you can see, those two screens come together to make this, whoop, I do not like this court. Remember when I was, like, when I win? <laughs> but those two screens come together to make this, one big screen, and that slice down the middle is definitely annoying, but you actually, you really get used to it. What? How did we pause? I think I have the controller messed up somehow, because it keeps pausing when I do not want it to pause. But yeah. Oh. Luigi, why, why would you do that to me, man? Can you not just let me take the, the dub? Okay, I'm going to score one point here, and then we're going to go to the next thing. And so yeah, this uh, game runs really well. Almost every GameCube game, for the most part, runs really well. I got Thousand Year Door. Um, I have a lot of good games on here. Anyway, so now, like, if we look at um, a game like, let's see, like Sonic 1, which I haven't really played in here too much, and we'll do the same thing. Okay, we're going to turn down the sound just a little bit. Oh, oh geez. Okay, I hit the camera again. You see, here we go. The guy that created the mobile versions of these games actually created the uh, uh, Sonic Mania game. Okay. As you can see, this split here is a little annoying. Let's let's not sign into my Google account. Well, let's not do that. I don't want to get doxxed. Okay, fine. You saw my emails. You, you you can you can you can send me some dope emails. I don't really care. Okay, here we go. And I installed the controller plug-in, and I'm like, it looks sick. Like, this, these two screens come together and make one. It looks super sick. And, like, that's one of the reasons I got this phone. It was just because it was pretty sick, in my opinion. And I really like Microsoft stuff. 
Um, they make a lot of high quality products, and this is just pretty sick in my opinion. Okay, come on, let me let me play the game. Okay, well, and like you can, see, the screen is gorgeous too. They're roughly two uh, K, I believe. The displays like they're gorgeous. They're OLED panels. They're like probably the best screens I've ever had in a phone. And like on the market right now, like these really are good screens. Um, I really enjoy them. Now, some cons of the device are the bugs. The bugs are the biggest con in my eyes. There's this really annoying bug where you'll put the screen into the folded position. So it's like a regular phone, right? And it'll keep switching to the screen that you're not using. And so you'll be like, for me, I do DoorDash, right? I'm looking at my map, right? And it'll just disappear and go to the screen that's folded to the backside for like no reason. And so then you flip the phone around to get it on the backside, the back screen, and it flips to the other screen. And like here, I'll do like a little demonstration, you know, okay? So like, let's say I had the phone like this, right? Okay, I'm gonna need to move my camera to edit. Okay, let's say I had the phone like this, right? And I'm looking at my map and it'll just randomly switch over here, okay? And so then I'll look over here, right? And then I'll, so I'll turn it like this and it'll go boom, back over here. And it's really annoying. And this whole double tap to switch screens thing, this works about 10% of the time. Like, honestly, this is a rare occasion that this double tap to switch screen thing is working. Like, it's not, it's not, see, like, this is what I mean. But, like, yeah, that that's, see, it just did it to me. I went over there to use it, and it switched the other side. But, yeah, that's my, that's my biggest problem with this phone is the bugs. I also am not a big fan, um, of the, there's no headphone jack, of course. I'm also not a huge fan of the the oh my gosh i can't talk of where the camera is this can i really hate having to flip around the phone every time i want to take a picture like it's very annoying like the camera is pretty good to be honest like it, it honestly is a pretty good camera for what it is but it nobody's buying the microsoft service doing going dude let's take some sick selfies right no nobody's buying it for that but for like the most part like it's good like i can i can send snapchats i can do all that just fine you know what i mean but like Again, going back to the word, I have to take pictures of the places that uh, I place the food, right? And it's very annoying to have to flip around the phone, flip to the other camera, then take the picture. You know what I mean? Especially, like, I feel, this is just kind of funny, I feel kind of, like, awkward um, taking that picture. Like, I want to get off that person's property as fast as I can, especially during the middle of the night. Like, I feel really awkward when I'm on their property delivering. And so, like, to have to do that little extra bit is a little annoying. But overall, like, I really enjoyed the device. Uh, I'm definitely going to get the Duo 2, if, it, if there is a Duo 2, or Duo Pro, or whatever they're going to call it. I'll definitely get that. I think with the next one, the bezels are going to be quite a bit uh, slimmer. It's going to have an updated chipset, and at least 8 gigs of RAM. I think they'll put the, the cam I think they'll have a camera on the back, um, things like that. And the other big con that I have here while I'm talking... We, we can look at some Clash Royale while I'm talking. Uh, another big con of the device is that there's no cases. Like, if, if you want to find... Oh, there's a special offer, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what it is. Oh, wow, for $10, you can get 50,000 whole gold. For $7, you can get 35,000. And for $3, you can get 25,000. I might just have to sell my soul for that one. No, I'm just kidding. I've already spent enough money on this game. But, like, that's a really big disadvantage. Like... I'm someone who's really careful with my devices, right? You guys might, may have seen my other videos. I have cases, screen protectors on all my stuff. doesn't really matter, right? And, like, if I dropped it, like, I've never dropped this phone on anything with a carpet, right? And, like, if I drop, I know if I drop this phone on the cement, done. That's it. Like, I guarantee something bad will happen with how fragile this thing is. It's so thin. It's made of glass. Like, there's not any really good cases. These bumpers, right? And even with the bumpers, like, I've still... I still have a couple dents, but, like, overall, it's fine. And, like, honestly, like, it's so hard to find case, good case. Like, there are no good case. Like, this is basically as good as it gets. You can get the OtterBox case, but my problem with the OtterBox case is you really can't flip the phone to use it like a regular phone. And it's very stiff, and, ugh, it just, I've had it 70 bucks to 70 bucks for the OtterBox case. Like, jeez. And so I had it, and I returned it, but... Yeah, these bumpers, I mean, the bumpers are nice, but again, for 40 bucks, mine shouldn't be wearing out in less than six months, in my opinion, like, down there. But that, that's just one of my problems 
with the phone. But overall, I've really enjoyed the phone. It's been probably, it's been one of my favorite phones I've ever had just because of how cool it is. Um, it looks really nice, the display. It's very big, very bright, and I've enjoyed the phone. Um, there, It can do a lot of cool stuff. It's, it's pretty fast. It's faster than, I mean, basically any mid-range phone. The cameras are pretty good. I'd give it a, I'd give it a solid 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. That's what I'd give it. And, like, don't get me wrong. I am a huge fan of the Duo. Like, very huge fan. I'm gonna, if they keep releasing Duos, I will buy every one and use it as my main phone. Like, I'll do that. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm not, like, trying to rack on the Duo here. I love the phone. And, yeah. So, the, like, besides all my complaints, like, it's a really good phone. Don't get me wrong. And these past six months, I really, honestly, I'm surprised. I bought a protection plan with it, and I'm surprised I haven't had any use of protection plan. After six months, it really is in eight out of ten condition, the device. And so, yeah. Anyways, sorry for ranting there. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your night, morning, where I don't even know what time it is, wherever you're watching this. Uh, it's pretty late for me. I work during the night, so it's like, what is the time? Is it uh, 3.41? And, but yeah, hope you have a pretty pod gamer day slash night. Uh, yeah, if you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, please report it for terrorism. And, uh, yeah, have a good one.